hi viewers thanks for watching my previous video and uh, we are going to continue with our excel functions one stop shop and ultimate guide uh, in my previous video i covered all the text related functions and explained with examples today i'm going to cover these logical functions and formulas and some of the logical operators over here and we will see those by example so if you want to see my previous video you can find it in my youtube channel and please subscribe so that you can uh, get notification whenever the new video is uploaded i'm going to cover all these important function in the upcoming videos so let's uh, jump um, to our topic today so let's continue with our topics today and um, that is if statement as you can see i have all the if related functions and uh, uh, statements in this drop down menu here you can see uh, the topic we are discussing here you will see uh, what that particular function or statement actually does and this tells uh, the syntax of um, the formula or the statement here we will uh, apply whatever we learn over here uh, through an example and uh, we will see how uh, these statements uh, work in a real-time practical example let's see uh, let's start and continue with our very first statement that is uh, if statement if is a very very commonly and widely used function and uh, many people who are working with excel have to deal with the if statement uh, more than many time uh, in their day-to-day -day workings as you can see if it has three arguments can, uh, the very first argument is a condition or uh, you can say a logical test the second argument is uh, the value or if true and the third argument is the value if false so the second and the third arguments are dependent on the very first uh, condition the outcome of the condition and in this value if true or value if false you can give uh, the reference uh, cell references or you can use another calculation or you can uh, simply type something in quotation marks or you can simply give another number uh, to be displayed or populated in that cell all three arguments are compulsory arguments there is no optional argument here you can see i have a sample invoice and uh, i'm going to apply this if statement and see how this works uh, in uh, day to day working uh, let's put some uh, data in uh, for our invoice for example if this is cpu and monitor uh, you can see the codes over here and the prices are over here i'm not going to use the vlookup we just simply type uh, the value. We, can, we, are, we will be looking at the VLOOKUP in the coming videos. Just simply we are going to see if statement. Quantity for example uh, 10 and monitor for example 15 and um, ignore the discount at present. So you can see um, unit price is 120 and uh, the quantity is 10. The total price is 1200 for the CPUs and the uh, 1200 for the monitor just to change for example 16 so 1280 for the monitors and 1200 for cpus and this is the total price um, without gst or vat what i want to do now i have a cell containing yes and no drop down menu drop down list so what i do want to do if the user select yes the system should calculate uh, the VAT if there is no the system should display a nil value so how this works so is equal to if the logical test what is the logical test this cell if this is equal to yes what will happen yes if this is true means yes I want to see the VAT inclusive value or the VAT on this amount so I press this cell reference time say 20% is the VAT rate or GST rate and what if the value is false do nothing it's a nil value here is it so here is it no if I change this no to yes it calculated uh, 496 pound as VAT or GST on this amount and this is another way you can see a VAT inclusive or VAT exclusive amount if I press no this is a VAT in exclusive amount if I press yes this is a VAT inclusive amount this is a very simple way of using if statement if I want to uh, for example uh, change 
uh, in the zero instead of zero or um, the, I want to change the VAT rate or for example there is a flat rate VAT for example 900 pound is the flat VAT rate there is nothing so this is just to show how we can use this if statement I press F see it hundred pound if I press no this is no if I press yes and you can see it's just calculating a flat rate uh, 100 pound for the VAT so this is the v, uh, if statement uh, apply it to the various uh, formulas to, to practice and learn how this works now let's move to our next topic in the list and uh, the topic we have is if s statement and if s allow you to put the multiple logical tests in and then return a value on the basis of uh, those logical tests so if you can see the syntax over here i have condition and then value if true condition the value if true and so on so what will happen if the very first condition is true this value will be returned and the rest of uh, the logical tests or condition will be ignored but if the first condition is failed uh, the function will move to this next uh, logical test and perform the test if that test is failed the function will perform uh, the next logical test unless until it find a true value and if it find the true value at the very first or very second or very third for example uh, the logical test the re rest of the statement will be ignored a very useful uh, condition a very useful statement uh, i have seen people asking for how to create a grading system or how to create a categories or groups so you uh, they can use this if s statement uh, to achieve this task so let's see how this if f actually works so let's apply this multiple if condition to our example suppose we have a discount policy for uh, all our items uh, CPU is uh, 5% and the monitor is if I just do it like this and do it percentage CPU is 5% monitor say 6% and then on the keyboard if I just apply the format and for keyboard we have a 4% discount rate flat discount rate and 3% on the mouse yes so we want to calculate the discount on the basis of the item code over enter over here and obviously uh, it could be CPU it could be monitor it could be keyboard it could be mouse it could be anything so there have at present we have four different uh, item codes so uh, th th this cell could have any of those four items we need an if statement that will check item uh, multiple times and then return a value for example if this cell is equal to CPU then what will happen it should return a 5% okay and then again if this cell is equal to monitor then the uh, discount code is say 6% you can directly give the cell reference as well if you want to and if this item here is keyboard the discount code is say 4% and if this item is equal to mouse the discount code is 3% over here okay so uh, it has uh, correctly selected 5% this time if I change it to K keyboard it will be 4% if I change it to mouse it will be 3% if I change it to monitor it will be 6% so let's copy that to the next row over here if we cut and copy you remember whenever a cell has a formula all the time the formula copied not the value unless until you want a value uh, by using a paste special okay so this is six percent and this is five percent and using the if statement if s statement you can see over here we have used if s statement and to see if this works 
what we can do we can actually provide a cell reference number directly as as it is like over here see just to explain things if I want to change the cell reference I we have changed uh, the policy and the what is the benefit of cell reference if you change the policy you have to go in and type the formula again if but if you have given a cell reference number you can directly just change the cell reference uh, you, you do not have to anything else you just change the value and the formula will be updated automatically over there now the discount is calculated and uh, by multiplying uh, this and this and this amount together you can see over here and then this discount has been taken uh, away from uh, the total the total value now the total amount is 3214 and if we say and if we want to change this uh, to 20% uh, VAT rate and this is obviously then VAT ex inclusive amount this is VAT exclusive amount this is if if s statement and this is simple if statement and by using the if and if s statement we have kind of created an automated uh, invoice which is uh, taking half of your work away already so this is a very simple and straightforward uh, uh, if statement and you can use uh, to automate your work and to reduce the time and effort you do on uh, mostly uh, most unproductive uh, items now let's uh, move forward and uh, we have seen if and if s and now let's see if and a what is if and a if NA is just like a if error which catches the errors if there is an error uh, uh, in your uh, uh, formula so sometime uh, uh, just uh, just to for your knowledge there are quite a few kind of uh, formulas for example there are uh, hash and uh, hash NA and then you will find hash value and then you can also see hash um, division by zero and there are few other hash errors uh, you, uh, you uh, there are if your formula is incorrect or if uh, VLOOKUP fail to find a value or if an if statement is not applicable and uh, let's see for example if I just change the CPU uh, this code monitor to MNO see what happened here I put uh, in the wrong code over here and by putting the wrong code over here these two formulas are uh, automatically uh, turned to uh, hash NA mean not applicable so we want to stop this happening we want uh, Excel to catch the error and return uh, as something uh, customized for example if I just want to catch the error and this is if, if NA error if you see this is if NA error this, this will catch only the not applicable errors it will not catch the hash value errors or it will not catch division by zero errors that is if error if error is the function that mostly catches all the functions all type of errors so if NA and I will put all of this if in that one and put the comma over here what the value of return so we can say incorrect code okay let's see see incorrect code because we have put the incorrect formula in we just copy it over here that's correct code if we have CPU uh, by mistake we typed in top so instead of giving the incorrect value formula it will give us uh, uh, incorrect code and uh, if I just change it to CPU you can see it was working if I change to Monday uh, monitor it will f working fine and let's uh, apply and see if error as well see if error again catches the error and return a customized message if I changed this uh, CPU to cup for example you can see we have catched this um, uh, hash 
not applicable value uh, error but we are not able to catch this hash value error let's catch this hash value error uh, by using the if error this is the value if error return incorrect code so incorrect code you have to put in the bracket over here see incorrect code what has happened what uh, when we put the incorrect code over here the formula over here that that, that was uh, th this multiplied by this and multiply by this so the system found a text in the formula so it, it, it unable to multiply the number with the text so it returned a hash value error just like over here and we can catch that value hash value errors by way of using these functions and what we have done we have used an if any function to catch the not applicable errors and we have used uh, just uh, let and to over here as well just to make it look more readable over here see if I just change Monday to MNO for example so instead of returning the hash value it will re return the incorrect value and we can apply that if error function if error then return incorrect and again uh, number of brackets uh, over here we have how many brackets over here over here like this see now you, uh, you you will not see the error instead you will see a customized message that incorrect uh, code let's uh, let's correct the code and and you see it will update it automatically over here just to repeat and just to revise there are <coughs> hash and a errors there are hash value errors there are hash division by zero errors and what we have used for if and a we have used if and a to uh, to catch only these errors this not applicable errors what happened with not applicable errors we have a uh, formula if s formula over here and uh, whatever it was in the formula the code was outside that formula so it returns a not applicable error and if error catches most of the most of the different type of errors so you can use uh, this function um, to control uh, the errors very easily and very elegantly a very very useful and very very helpful functions so just to keep our video short I'm going to stop here and I hope you have learned something new today and um, uh, please make sure you revise these functions to make sure you understand the concept accurately I'm going to cover these very very important logical operators in my next video and we are going to use these in conjunction with if and if as statement to see how these works a very important topic a very important function so make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you can get the notification whenever the new video is uploaded thanks for watching